This is a Seymour Duncan Invader. Have you ever seen a Seymour Duncan <laughs> Invader? I have now. They um look at the size of the pole pieces. They're like um well big hex nuts. Are these both upside nickname. down? Shush. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't seen one, and I haven't heard one in person. So they're really hot, and they've got massive pole pieces. We'll play it on clean, although it does push the amp a bit. Wow, is that on clean? That would normally do it. That would... Okay. My amp can't go quieter, by the way. This is the minimum it will go. This is the cleanest that amp can go, and it's pushing it that hard. Should we check out a Gibson SG with standard humbuckers? So you can make it push if I strum harder, but I'm just, it's almost clean, isn't it? How it, yeah. you'd expect that amp to be at this. I'm going to turn it, I'm going to start cranking the gain a bit. Sounds too low endy. It's like there's explosions every time you're strumming. It sort of sound, does it sound great? It feels like it sounds great. Yeah, but it does sound good. Um. Yeah, like certain chords that you're playing sound really good. <coughs> it is a lot boomier. Yeah, it is quite boomy. That's what happens when you wind hotter, it gets more... I worry that in a mix it might be a bit... You don't want all that low end in a mix, but it does sound massive. Yeah, what what are the differences in the output on both of those? About 16K, ooh, I don't know, 14, probably about 16K. Oh, okay, I thought K, it was a lot more. But that's the, um, <coughs> so it's probably wound as hot, but maybe it's got, hmm. I think this has got like 7,000, I think, I've got a feeling it's got three ceramic bar magnets under it, whereas that has one Alnico 5 right, or okay. 2. That will increase the output massively. Let's crank it to the other channel. <laughs> Sounds, I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot more low end in this. Yeah, I'm just going to compare it to. Uh, Which is really nice when you're playing guitar on its own. Yeah, in the bedroom. But hey, it's going to sound amazing. I think in a mix, it will sound it. Maybe. That's the thing, as soon as you start putting that against the bass, it's, is it just going to get lost and make it sound worse? Or yeah, will it be in the way, do you think? Possibly, but it, just, <laughs> it does sound really good. But how many people geek now? <laughs> Genuinely, right. how many people are going to buy it just going to be in their bedroom? Yeah. And you just turn the bass down in your amp. If you've got EQ on the amp, I think yeah, it's getting in the way. That is the thing. If you've got a sound guy. I don't know what this is. Um, this is a Monty's Guitars. I can't remember. I think it might be the full Monty, and that's the more paffy one, retro wind. I can't remember which way around they are, to be honest. They're both Monty's. They're both Monty's. Yeah. Um, I really like them because they're you get a bit more, they should sound more articulate, whereas when we do this, it's not going to sound like that, is it? It's just all words. Give it a go. Yeah.
massive. Mm. Um, I'm quite impressed by it. Yeah, I really like it. What do you think? Do you remember when we played mm. the Pearly Gates for the first time? And both yeah. of us were like, wow, that's the best pickup ever. Oh, that's really, that's a really good. Don't know what it is, but we're going to find out in a second. Yeah. I it's don't, subsequently changed our minds. I don't think it has that same initial impact that the Pearly Gates did. Although after further, further investigation, we kind of went a bit down on our um, <laughs> our enthusiasm for the for the Pearly Gates. But yeah, it's really nice. It's it's similar in the in its balls. Does sound big, doesn't it? Yeah, but that yeah, that's I would have to listen back. But I think that's a lot more bassy than both of those ones. Yeah, I'll just do some. Uh... <laughs> This. I was just going to say, that's got a really nice growl to it. Like, it's got a lo it's a lovely growl. It's not as deep as this, Thank which you. isn't a bad thing. <laughs> I think, like for a band situation, that will probably be nicer. Yeah, I'm glad but, this is in this guitar. Yeah, um, that is cool though. I really like this. Yeah, but it, I'd it, say that's the only time that like, that didn't sound as good as. Yeah, else. I think playing this. If you are a guitarist playing guitar. So like, you know, you get a lot of YouTubers and stuff that play guitar and own guitar. Are you describing us? A, but they might play to a backing track of drums, not necessarily bass. It's really nice for, if you're just playing guitar, when you put in a band situ situation like we can test it tonight, it might be too much bass. Yeah, we'll test it tonight and um, give a little sound clip of it and see what you think, how it sounds in a mix. <laughs> Again, like we said, if you're playing at a gig where there's a sound guy, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll adjust that. And if you're in the studio, if it's got too much bass, you'll take it out anyway, so who cares? But yeah. if it sounds great to you in the studio, you play better. If the sound place sounds great, you play better. Um, what I would say is if, if you're doing a gig and you've got no sound guy, if you've got EQ on the amp, yeah. I've never turned the bass down at a gig, though. No. I've never had to. I don't think it's that bassy, is it? No, I mean, yeah, it's not like a bass guitar but it, it's bassier than both yeah. of those um, it's got a lot of output and um, that was, uh, yeah it's all in the bridge as well so for a bridge pickup as well that's quite bassy in summary which is quite good get a Monty's full Monty yeah that's very nice it is I'm really impressed by that I haven't played this I mean since last rehearsal but yeah it's worth watching this video on a shootout between uh, we did a shootout between sort of loads of different uh, bridge humbuckers and all the differences we thought were there sort of weren't that apparent <laughs> which was sort of a shame but sort of useful to know maybe it just depends on the day the mood thanks for watching